All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game, One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Crusader Kings 3 Tours and Tournaments Part 85. And I actually um, wanted to talk about a poll that I recently put up on the channel. I've been getting a lot of comments um, and a lot of fall-off in terms of viewership from people that are just saying that, as far as they're concerned, the playthrough is finished. Because really all we have left to do is conquer the world. Just win a bunch of wars that we already know we're going to win. Now I'm not going to say that some fun stuff can't happen. And we can't meet some fun characters. So it's not like there's nothing that's going to happen. But I put up the poll and so far it seems like 85% of people are agreeing that we should probably wrap up this playthrough soon. And that I should either... Some people are saying I should consider doing more playthroughs in the future. Maybe some modded runs every half year or so. Um, instead of doing the once a year thing and about just as many people are saying that once a year is still good so I'm really not sure where we're going on that end but it really does sound like rather than do 40 or 50 more episodes of us just winning a bunch of wars that we already know we can win that we might be wrapping up this playthrough soon because let's be honest greater Egypt is just going to conquer the world that's kind of wrapped up by this point I know it's it's kind of weird to say that, but CK3 is a very easy game once you get into power like this. As you guys have seen from either if you've seen my other playthroughs or if you've been watching this one. Once you get to a certain point, there's nothing that the AI can do. There's nothing the computer can do to try to slow you down. So, I'm still going to record this episode. We're still going to play some CK3, but this might be a wrap soon. I don't know if we're going to play until Meritides dies or what, what the cutoff exactly is going to be. Maybe it'll be until Meritides passes away, and that'll be our almost two centuries of time with Greater Egypt, but we'll see what Seti has going for him, all that good stuff. But as, look as forward as I am to looking forward to playing as Seti, this evil mastermind character, there's just not much left to do. But I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. And it's still up in the air right now, because like I said, I just released that poll today. People have only been voting on that thing for... Six, six, seven, eight hours, right? Maybe things will change, but I think I would be okay with that too, to be honest. Um, but I am looking forward to seeing what Seti has in him, and I do want to live out Meritidi's life. No matter what people vote for, no matter what people say, I'm not ending this playthrough until Meritidi's passes away. We've played, we've been playing as Meritidi's for way too long to give up on Meritidi's now. So I'm going to play Meritides to the very end, and then we'll decide what we're doing from there. So, with that out of the way, Meritides, we still have some life left in us. We're 88. Can we get Meritides to 100 just like Menkara? I think that would be really cool. Um, Ubinao, Surav, Meow, Ramon, and Loremaster, thank you so much for your comments. I really appreciate it. Let's get back into it. Uh, we were debating a war with East Francia. And Meow said said that Meowcules could rule over East Francia, perhaps. So we're gonna want East Francia in case we get Meowcules into this world here, and then we can have Meowcules start to take over. She's still not pregnant. I'm still waiting on a boy to happen from our future pharaohs here to get Meowcules involved. Uh, unless we want to save Meowcules for a future run, but I think I still want to get Meowcules in here if we can. Uh, alright. Well, let's declare war on East Francia. We know we're going to want to do that, but let's make sure that our army can actually get raised. Because I, I still want to see what Meritides can do with her life, regardless of what we end up choosing to do here. Let's gather here. That gives her some space to grow. There is a plague here. <laughs> actually, let me, let me go back down here instead, and the capital's closer over here anyway, so I don't know what I was thinking. Look at this kingdom, man. The kingdom of East Francia. Look at all those counties absolutely absurd how much territory you can take in one war from the Carlings. King Athelhart the Handsome. Oof. That is tough for you, Chief. That is tough for you. Let's raise the men-at-arms. Meritides herself. When's the next Grand Tournament? In two years? Do we try a Grand Tournament with Meritides at 90 years of age? Is that something we try to pull off? The wrestling health bonus is just so good for getting Meritides to live longer, you know? My family epic seems to be progressing well, and some lines already sound like they'll be quoted for decades to come. But Agni has a lot of questions about the focus of the story. It would be easier to answer if she wrote it all first, then I could tell her what I dislike about it, but she insists she needs answers now. 
My dynasty's ancestral claims. Family history. Give it that renown bonus, please. Strange sand. Reports have arrived at my court about strange phenomena in the desert sands of Bubastis. A part of that region has gained notoriety for its supposed singing or booming sand dunes. Travelers and locals alike have reported places there were there where sand dunes can be heard emitting strange noises described either as haunting singing or ominous booming. Scholars and god servants alike are unable to find a satisfactory explanation for this phenomenon and many are debating whether the presence of this phenomenon is a secretly good thing or harbingers of ill fortune. Whose sand can make noise like that? Booming, okay, singing or booming sand dunes are a phenomenon found in sand deserts around the world. The noise, which can vary from place to place, is caused by either wind passing through the sand or other physical disturbances such as people walking on the sand. They have been discussed in folklore and historical sources for centuries, but scientific investigation of this phenomena properly began with R.A. Bagnold, a British geologist, desert explorer, and veteran of the Second World War. Huh. 50% of booming sand dunes, which is bad, apparently, or singing sand dunes, which is good, apparently. Come on, singing sand dunes. Okay. Oh, well. It was only 1% negative development, so not the end of the world, but that is a bummer. Ah, uh, dismissed. You're no longer needed. Thank you. <laughs> Get out of here with that Tychus, please. Uh, Tychus is um, right here, isn't it? It really is. Uh, I'd like to isolate the capital, which means I'm going to have to get her off of ruling this army here. Let Simonis do it. Uh, what was I saying? Gregoria. Bardis. Let's isolate the capital. There's Tychus really nearby. We don't need Grand Tours. We do have a faction I'm supposed to be getting ready for. How long until that? Any time! That's surely... Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why did I not see this coming? Oh, You want freedom? You'll have it in death. Rally the troops. Oh my god. They are not going to gather in time. 20 days? Look at all this! What is all this? Hello? <laughs> the French Catholics are so upset about this. So upset about this. Uh, ah, uh, come on. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of... S clear all notifications. Whoa, dude. Whoa, dude. That's a lot of stuff, dude. Totally, dude. Uh, I guess we call a holy order down here and let them start sweeping their way up. What happened to the Magi? Oh, they're already hired? I don't care. I'm hiring them. I'll pay the thousand prestige, the thousand piety. Done deal. Your Danes could lead this army. True. Go ahead, your Danes. Lead those people. Alright, they'll gather in time. We got this. 18 days left? For sure. The East Francia is too far away and they'd have to travel through, like, death areas to be able to do that. That's not gonna happen. Okay, seek indulgences. What is happening? <clears throat> Witchery and salvation. Get it? Salvation. They're funny. What commotion is this? A crowd led by the baying voice of Zaid is circling some unfortunate soul. Pushing through, I finally discover Onanthe defiantly defending herself even as Zaid's voice rings out louder, even louder. And furthermore, the moment you stepped outside to gather plants for your so-called craft, the curse and misery sweat started ravaging our lands. You are clearly the cause, you spineless bampot. Onanthe jabs a finger and fires back as the crowd mother's angrily is quickly getting out of hand. Enough herbalism is a noble art. Hmm. Say it is right, we cannot be too careful. Let us think this through, shall we? Being a witch is a good thing, though. <laughs> Why would we think that's bad? Like, our, it's literally virtuous in our faith. Yeah, let's think this through, shall we? She gains the trait wit. She's not going to get the trait witch. Because we're going to get the 99% where we own this. Managed to convince the crowd. Hell yeah. Bedwan sweats. What's going on over here? That battle's taking a while, but they're getting it. Okay, they're gathered. Go get them. Look at the speed of our armies. It's insane. I love how fast our armies are. It's absolutely nuts. <clears throat> There's no escape. They're so done. Whoops. What just happened? Where did that go? I hit the Klein on accident, didn't I? Whoops! I think I just declined an indulgence for the first time ever. 
<clears throat> Family epic precedence. My grandson-in-law, Nesset E.B., comes to me excited with news. I've been reading the latest part of your family epic, and Agni has discovered something very interesting. It seems that the Kenbed of Tregarda was never intended to be permanently in the hands of the House Terramen. I can make a reasonable claim against Nesset Ramses. We're also House Terramen. What are you talking about? Sure, give us more taxes. It doesn't make much sense, but sure, give us more taxes. Not gonna see me argue. Alright, Holy Order, get up there. Go get them. Uh, I guess go get them first. They're the most out of the way. The Wolf of Delhi has died. Okay. Weird that they would bother telling me, but okay. Ramon's still in good health at 65. Pretty good. 100 gold. 10 to 37, 46. Manetho is still out here just killing people for sure. Here's another wipeout right here. 12 to 7,000. Laura got 16 more kills. And Ramon has gotten too old for war, apparently. That's tough. Seek indulgence. Go ahead. Yeah, I did hit the client on that one guy. Whoops. Martial lifestyle perk, because why not? Army gold maintenance doesn't hurt. Get that down. Sure, why not? And, like, even the gold spiral's out of control. Like... Until they come out with a higher difficulty or something, there's just, there's not much left. What? We captured East Francia's king in that battle? That is so good. Just like that. 33 to 8,000. Manetho picks up a whole bunch more kills. Laura gets 29. Oh my god. Abdul gets 15 despite being like 73 years old. We capture the 22-year-old king of France. Apparently the other king died or... Oh no, battle one plus captured air is making it 100. Wow. Wow, one battle where we lose 33 and they lose 8,000 and they lose all of East Francia. Which is an insane amount of counties. We're about to go from 758... But your humor is rotten your living body. So be it. 758 to 827. We just got 69 nice counties in one battle. That is absolutely absurd. That's absolutely absurd. We almost got it too fast because now I almost can't. I can't just wait for. I guess SETI can take o take it over for now, and then once SETI is done ruling it for a while, you know what I mean? Then. Nefrikari's eventual kid, Meowkul... Once we take over a Seti, the Pharaoh, Seti can hand it off to Meowkules down the road if we want to do that. Yeah, let's have Seti practice his ruling ways by temporarily owning the kingdom of East Francia. Usurp that. Gained 540 legitimacy. You know, just a little something. Grant to Seti. All right, Seti, get your practice in. You're going to practice how to rule a, this entire empire by practicing on the tiny little country of East Francia. Damn. Go ahead. Prince Seti of Greater Egypt has become your vassal. He's no longer my spy master. He is. And look, we can actually see his face. We didn't get to use to see his face before. Okay, Seti, I see you. He became a seducer. That's not what I was hoping he would go for. But okay. No longer my court musician, though. Fair enough. Or my master of a horse. Uh, Teta Sherry can be a chief artist. She's good at that. Court musician. Teta Sherry's also good at that. An aquarian. No. Lady in waiting. No. Court physician. Teta Sherry's good at that. Good. Uh, bodyguard. No. Master of the horse. Your Danes is that new guy that's absolutely killing it in his job. So let's put your Danes in that position. Okay. The end of an era. No way! The reign of the Carling dynasty has come to an end. The despotate of East Francia has finally slipped from their grasp. With the Carlings removed, these lands are truly no longer a part of their old empire. With me as the future Usur Matra Setapenra. We have a new and bright destiny ahead of us. It is, therefore, only fitting to remove any and all reminders of their influence, including the very name itself. 
The despotate of East Francia changes name to Germany. A new era begins. Wow, it's called Germany now. They said, get these Carlings out of here. The Carlings still have Bavaria and Burgundy, but those, and Italy. But these are like three pretty minor powers compared to what the Carlings used to be. We really showed them who the true rulers of this world are. Carlings thought they were tough stuff. They were one of the most renowned families in existence. And now here we are, just lighting them up. Uh, hold up. Let me... Hold up. Split in half. We don't need all these 5,000 going the same way here. Let's speed this up a little bit. In fact, let's send these... Let's send this troop down so that they can go handle different areas. Because these peasant revolts are pretty big. A lot of peasants. We've killed like... 15,000 of them, there's still 40,000 left. A question of time. Yeah, I'll put her up as long as it takes. Let's make sure that good epic gets made. 77 to 6364. Okay. Yeah, we're losing some sieges. Makes sense. We lost people in our... We gained people in our court? Why? But I don't want these people. House Mecklenburg? Uh... I guess they left court, because it doesn't say they're in my court right now. Yeah, they're not in my court right now. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, we converted a faith again. Okay, Minkari is starting to spread quickly out here. I love that. Let's get Orleans next. Abdul! No! He was the man! Unable to carry their own massive frame at 72. Ah, oh, he made it so long. Good for him, man. Lost a thousand glory from losing our champion. Oh my god. And it's still maxed out? What the? That's insane! Zemraja, though, is about to... We need a new successor quickly. Zemraja's about to die as well, and that's going to make us lose even more glory. Because he's 57. Yeah, he's in poor health, too. God, that's tough. That's going to do another damage to it, but it is what it is. That is tough. Alright, siege that up real quick and then we'll go get him, I guess. Actually, you know what? The sieges don't matter if you eliminate the peasants that are rebelling, so let's just wipe them out. Scheme discovered. Seti, what'd you find out? Look how blue his eyes are. What? Are you seeing that? Maybe that's just the way the glint is going. My spy master's coming with great news. It's Magdalene, the daughter of Duke Popo of Augsburg, that's plotting against my prisoner, Adolf. Ah, uh, you don't gotta worry about a thing. I got him. I got it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Glad to help. In fact, Meritides is all too happy to help. If that's what she's doing. 6 to 25, 26. Wiped out. How's the holy order over here going? They did get him. Okay. Head back over here, then. Expert Illuminator. Word has reached me that a Wob renowned for illuminations is staying in a town in Ramses. With my family epic progressing, this might be the ideal time to think about what the pages should look like once all is said and done. Ooh. Oh, learning. I've always considered myself somewhat of an artist. We can, we can just do this. We're humble, so we're not going to like that. But yeah, we have a 100% chance of producing... Of increasing the chance of an exceptional epic. Damn straight. Excellent illuminations. Let's kill a prisoner so we feel better about being humble. You're you're crazy, by the way, Meritides. You are crazy. <laughs> the number one way to cheer her up is to kill uh, the non-faithful. Absolutely nuts. She just said, let me wipe them out. That's what, I, that's what I'm passionate about. I'm passionate about killing the non-believers. But we've been with her for a long time. Like I said, I don't want to finish this playthrough before that we're, before we're done playing through Meritides' life. She's become the ultimate tournament champion as well, man. Albu, I almost, like, renamed the episode after it was already out last episode because I almost changed it to the one uh, who stands above all or whatever that achievement's called. Because, I mean, it's just so fitting for her. Maybe I'll name this episode that. Albu Hira has gained renown for the quality of the dog breeds developed there. And there are those who come from afar to acquire the dogs bred here. <clears throat> Perhaps I could have, have a hand in encouraging the locals to breed the dogs for certain purposes. Defender advantage plus three and plague resistance plus five. 
This region is famous for the quality of its dog breeds. Recently, locals have been encouraged to breed dogs specializing in hunting prey or protecting their owners. For companionship. Recently, locals have been encouraged to breed dogs that make for good companions that are visually charming. 2% taxes, okay. Hurting and working. Ooh. Logos have been encouraged to breed dogs that do excellent work herding livestock or engaging in other kinds of work. 5% development growth and 0.1 a month is kind of crazy. Yeah, definitely that one. 100%. Wiped out. Go get them, I guess. 2 to 600, that's tough. They hate to see it. Meritides is out here leading the wars, by the way. She's out here leading these battles. Just wiping out the uh, peasants that refuse to listen. Ruthenia the Proud now speaks Egyptian. Nice. How's our court language going anyway? Alright, it's spreading a bit. I mean, most of Africa speaks Egyptian by this point. About half of India, the Middle East, speaks Egyptian. Ruthenia is kind of the odd one out. Way up here speaks Egyptian? Whoa! Eastern Asia said Egyptian. Yeah, we love it. And then Ruthenia is just like, yeah, why not? Let's get involved. <laughs> Let's do it. Why not? Baranus Sweats. Is that a new one or no? Uh, yes. This one just started where? Okay, that's not too big a deal. This one matters a lot. That's why our capital's isolated at the moment. Can Ransom him a Carling for 10 gold? You're lucky you got Ransom money. Go get him. He's way up there, but go get him. Whoa, there's 10... Th whoa, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where, what? When did these 10,000 peasants get here? What? Uh, go back down here, actually. I'll, I'll let these two... These 2,000 get up there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nefrikari died? How? Was ripped to shreds by a bear... They never even had a legit kit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. There goes our whole plans for after SETI. Uh, now who takes over? Osiris, probably? They are pregnant, and they are gorgeous. A pair right here. Irene and Osiris are fantastic. I guess we're going for Osiris after SETI. Let, let me take a look at the other options, but uh, it's really looking like Osiris is looking great. How about Amos? Amos and Meritides the second also pretty good. Wait, hold up, go back. Uh, here we go. Yeah, also great kids to be honest. There's still options after SETI for sure. Damn man, Nefrikari would have been a pharaoh in the future quite possibly, and he just he passed on before he could. That's tough. Okay. Agni has completed my family epic and what a glorious poem she has composed. It has high drama, moral quandaries, and tense duels. Everything my family has been forged from is in there. Even the part with the hewing of the mountain, seemingly so far-fetched, has become a touching moment outlining the destiny of my house. Another terrible book. 150 Renown is great, but why are, why are those books sometimes so damn awful? I just don't understand. I should probably make a character named Happy Boopies before this is over, right? Gotta do it. Those, for those of you that know, you know. <laughs> Work completed. You can keep serving me, yeah. <laughs> Maybe I gotta do that before the playthrough's over, I don't know. Where did these people go? Oh, there they are. I just didn't scroll up enough, my bad. Go get them. Jenna lost to Gurma. Okay. Simonis converted to Kanuri? Why would you do that? That makes no sense. I mean, it's not like you converted religion, so Meritides can live with it, fine. But a weird choice, for sure. Seti and Melissa are now ready. Excellent. They'll be amazing. My son and heir Seti is ready. He is ready. How's our health looking? 89? We're still in fine health. That looks good. That looks good. Imagine we get Menkare and Meritides all the way to 100 years old. That'd be crazy. A goblet. No, goblets are already bad and she's not even legendary or a master. So it's just a waste of money, really. 
Go get them. Egyptian pot spreads. Is that a new one as well? Yes, it is. Where is that? Okay. Very far from where we're at. That's fine. I can live with that. That's fine. Oh, they're, they're trying to escape my boat. Go get them. God, we're fast. How long for them to disembark? 26 days? And it takes us 25 to get to them? Oh my god, we are speed! Simonis lost a bunch of Marshall because she switched, by the way. Oh my god, Ramon, go get him. Ramon even sped it up by a day. Alright, you guys can stop. Thank you. They got that. Uh, it's just these peasants left, right? About 11,500? There's 2,800 I'm missing somewhere. Go get him, Ramon. Chase him down. Oh, they realized they couldn't make it out and just gave up. <laughs> okay. Cool. Alright, now we gotta find where the rest of this military went, dude. They pulled a fast one on us and just disappeared. Good job, Ramon. Leading them to victory there. How many kills did you get since you were here? Oh, never mind. You just let it. Laura got 75. What the heck? It's another one of these where, like, we don't know where the peasants went. It's like they got on a boat somewhere and just disappeared. Ak Issa may be appointed for Servant of the Sun. Can Ak wear clothes? Can we do that? Um, here we go. Hold up. I do like Indian armor. It looks pretty fire. It's better than not wearing clothes. Sure. I can put her up there. I can do that. She does have 25 prowess and she's still young. Legendary blade master, forwarder. Not a great marshal to be honest. But we're not going to be able to find anybody else for the near future, so sure. That'll have to work for now since Simraj is about to go down. Where is the where are the peasants? I wish there was a chase button. Something that they are billions did really well that I really enjoyed was they had a button for their units called chase. Where it just always sent them to wherever the nearest enemy was. What a genius concept. What a genius idea. It was so good. Um, where are you at? That's uh, not telling me where they're at. Because they're not on the map. I guess we just gotta wait for them to show back up on the map. <laughs> he lost the Dulterer for 150? Okay. If you say so. Bunch of new art. Nah, don't worry about that. Uh, we can't train for a tournament because we're in an army and there's no grand tournament for us to join. Interesting. Eventually, this army is going to have to show up. They can't hide forever. So we think. Oh, very low Nile Flood's a huge bummer. Let's stop leading an army for now. While we're waiting for this to happen. Go ahead and put Simonis back in charge of one of these armies. There is a grand tournament I can go to. Train for a tournament. Yeah. Okay. Let's get our prowess up. Oh, no way. We wounded? Wait. Wasn't the chance of that like 7%? Oh, man. That's all right. We'll be better soon. Yeah, we're already not wounded. Because tedasheri has got big learning experience. She can pull that off. No problem. Timo's grand right. Not going to make it in time. So we're going to have to let that one fly. Well, that sucks, actually. I don't know how we would win a grand tournament with Meritides at eight, at 90 years old by the time the tournament... There they are! They've reemerged. Go get them. Yeah, by the time we pull off, like, actually getting the tournament started, we'll be like 91 even. Like, the odds of us getting there is just so rough. Malignoring scent. Um, oh yeah, I remember this one. Uh, those won't save a soul. One couldn't hurt. We don't need one of those. No, we really don't. No. No. Hard pass. Bad air over Bubastis. The Misri sweats. Yeah, I know. It's worth a try. Abundant flora does give pop your opinion. Yeah. I mean, we got the money to burn, so why not? Whoa, 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 we are our capital unisolated? Can we, yeah, can we re-isolate that, please? Thank you. Hmm. 
When can we do a repentance ceremony? Can't do it for five years. That's a shame. We kind of need to for that very low um, hunt we just had. Can't make it to that grand tournament either. I guess I should have checked earlier, but I don't think it would have mattered. I guess, I guess, yeah, we just wait for the grand tournament in 13 months here. We can keep trying to eliminate the carlings from the map in the meantime for fun. Look at our speed. They can't handle our speed. They're still, they're running away, but we're still catching up. They're also about to get cooked by their enemies here, by our allies here. Our allies are afraid to get invested here. Oh boy, we have a Renown perk. Let's go. Venial, that's very good. We don't need it, but this, here it is. Family connections. And then we'll also have every Renown perk that I really wanted. Look at our Renown. 131 a month is crazy. Sure, get involved. There you go. And that's the Peasant Revolt. Handled. Boom. And we get 28 Dread. Nice. 100 Dread on Meritides. Seti is proud. Seti is oh so proud. Legitimacy gained. And that means he needs a good execute for what he did. Thank you. Alright. Beautiful. Another faction, dude? What? No, we just took that out. Yeah, I was about to say, they can't do that. You can't do that. Dreadful Ruler again. We get that achievement all the time. It keeps telling me we got it for the first time, but it's never true. A reading in the Barony of Alexandria. Zade again, huh? It looked like it would be a tedious evening once the Feast Entertainment was over. Is someone romancing me and I don't know about it? Like, what, what happened there? The sound of laughter rings down the hallways as the Count at court these days. Strange, given the Bedouin sweat. Oh, yeah, it's the laughing thing. Uppl supplication to Amun-Ra is all that matters. True. True. I'm not even going to demand payments anymore. We don't need the money. Lost against your cousin, Nessid Irene. Nice. Irene, the fair, right here in, the, in Jazeera. I think it was a defensive war. I don't think we took any land from him there. But all right, good defensive war right there. You did it. Well done, well done. Uh, grand tournament when? Ten months, and it's May. So in uh, March of 1025. Sensual proposal. No, why would... No. No, I t leave me alone, all of you. No one will attempt to seduce us for ten years. No. We will not be seduced. It won't happen. We had our true love, and we are done with... We, you know, we're done with all that. My daughter, Tedesheri, is so talented. Her mind as a scholar is truly immense and scarcely rivaled by any other in the realm. Really? I don't think I've read this one before. Her grasp of matters philosophical and theological lets her debate on an even keel with the holiest and wisest of religious leaders, and I've yet to see her ever falter when faced with an issue of the mind. Even now, I can hear her down the corridor holding forth an, on an obscure object with all the skill and ease of a master craftswoman with decades of experience. Perhaps I could task her to give me some tips and tricks on that area of expertise. I mean, we're, we're better than her. We're, we're Meritides, but you're humble, so teach me, I guess. Teaches you her ways. So we've gone from 100 to 100, but why not? Sure, if you say so. I think we'll try the wrestling tournament, because even if we get, like, second or third, it still gives us a health bonus. But there's also, of course, the pressure of... What if we lose? You know? She did not join our court. That, that thing's bugged out. Bohemia, what you doing? Going a little crazy over there. Look at the world develop. Alright, we got time for another war, I think, before March of 20, 1025. What's a small war we could run them through? Bavaria is almost perfect. They'd be able to keep just a little bit of Bavaria if we take Bavaria. Um, we could take Constantinople, Constantinople from the Eastern Roman Empire to prove a point. Actually, I really might do that. 
Um, Hellas, Serbia, Thessalonica, that's the one. Yep, I think I'll take this from them. It'll split their empire in half a little bit, but what a power play that would be. For them to control all this and all this, and there's nothing they can do about the fact that the Egyptians live here... That'd be a huge power play. But that's not a quick war. I was just saying we needed a quick war. That's not it. Italy's a mess. Burgundy we have an alliance. We have a truce with, right? Oh no, Burgundy's back on the menu. Heck yeah, let's take it. Made my choice easy. Start down here over where the... Uh, it's closer to our capital, so they'll gather quicker. And it's where their capital is. Oh, their army is right there. Let's not gather right there. 40 days. Ugh, that's kind of long. Another Marshall perk. Okay. There is another faction getting ready to go, dude. Yeah, I guess the East Francia people, huh? Yeah. <laughs> 50 counties that are Frisian Catholic near uh, East in East Francia. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. All right, I buy that. <clears throat> that makes sense. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. We'll deal with it when? 16 months? Uh, we'll be in Grand Tournament land by then. I'm not too worried about it. Dukes of Dahl got plus one prowess. Why not? Oh, what's going on here? Arles has the Ar Arles Amphitheater? Building is a ruin. I don't know what that is, actually. Maybe I'm uncultured, but I actually don't know what that is. Interesting. All right, everybody. Oh, God, all the siege engines are with this one. Never mind, turn around. Actually, no, just split. Yeah, there you go. That'll do it. Now you guys can go. Um, What was I saying? Uh, shoot, I totally forgot what I was going to say, actually. I 100% lost it. I have no idea what I was about to say. Oh, yeah, let's get this war done by March. Let's get this done. We did not capture the king. You know how good that would have been? He was in the battle. We just didn't get him. Ah, well. Alright, go siege this up. Nobody can stop us anyway. <clears throat> but, <laughs> trying to win a tournament at 91 years old. Now that will be a little bit of excitement for Meritides, I think. 90 years of age, still in fine health. That's with the Fountain of the Sun visit, admittedly. But we need to get this tournament going so that she doesn't... When does she lose that bonus, by the way? Thank you, Anka Cinnamon. Wait! Wait. Wait. Where was that? No way. Anka Cinnamon? Like that? Or did I or did I read it wrong? I didn't! No way! I met someone in real life with that name. And I thought it was the craziest name. And now it's in our game. Wow! I actually know someone, honest to God, in real life with that name, and I thought I'd never see it again, and then here it is. Wow, that is shocking to me. I thought for sure I was never going to see that name again, real life or not. That is insane. Wow. Okay, then. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That is blowing my brain right now, to be honest. I can't believe that. Dude, the plague is... Those are getting old. That's a lot of plague going on. I can't, I can't believe there's an Anka Cinnamon in this game. Like the person I met in real life. That's so wild. What a crazy name, too. Alright. Cool. Very cool. Three months. Wow, that's the Benoit. Viennois has like good defenses. Apparently, we got the Carlin crown. Oh snap! Not as good as our illustrious or magnificent crown, but if we ever need vassal limit one day, then you know, cool. That's pretty cool. Go to Geneva. Yeah. 
This is the Geneva from the Geneva Convention, right? I want to say that's correct. I just don't know that for a fact that it is. Unsure. Yeah, we'll be done by March. We'll be ready. This war is done. But yeah, the sieges here take a little while. The defenses here are pretty solid. Promote culture is finished. Okay. So we got the culture. We don't have the culture in Rome yet. We were doing it over here. Alright, we need to convince the Romans to be... In seven years, they'll be sunborn. It's actually really fast. Like, I know converting culture takes longer than religion, but the fact that we can convert a place like Rome's culture in seven years is kind of insane. That is pretty wild. Just seeing if any of these wars have to do with anybody, any of our vassals or anything like that. Alright. That's a war, baby. That's done. This siege right here will do it. Finished just in time. Karnadeva of Cargany has accused my grandson of law, E.B. E.B., what'd you do? Committed sodomy together with my vassal, Nomark Abram. This cannot be what Amun Ra intended. E.B. is bi. I buy that. They're both bi. Yep. I do believe that did happen. I never would have thought either, but it does make sense on paper. Still cheating. Still unfaithful. Still wrong. But I see the physical what happened there. <clears throat> there we go. Burgundy acquired. And we already had a bunch of Burgundy. Where, who has this? Oh, Genoa took Burgundy before. That's right. That's right. Create the title of Burgundy. Give it to my man Manetho right here, who has been doing an amazing job in our wars. So he kind of deserves a little something, to be honest. There you go. Neset Manetho the Able. The Able is right. He's out here doing work. Disband. And then Grand Tournament is ready to go. Exactly on time. Okay. So we're hosting a Grand Tournament in Alexandria, of course. We're going to start with... Oh, well, hold up. Actually, I need to know how long we have this bonus of... Oh, never mind. The, uh, the Fountain bonus is gone, but we're still in fine health. Which means we can push off the wrestling just a little bit. We can make it the second event, because we don't need it immediately. What's something our old lady can do before the... Before the wrestling tournament? Could do board games again. She's extremely intelligent. Okay, so this is what she's obviously going to be amazing at. And this is what she's not going to be so good at. But we're going to try to get her to win anyway. Or at least get second or third for a health bonus. So we can make her live even longer. Here we go. Plenty of money, of course. Triumph. Start the Grand Tournament. And we're not in war or anything, so anybody will be able to show up. There's no war going on. Four months till it begins. We can start going to locales in 20 days. Luisa, Lordless Warrior. Uh, no. She's Catholic and 18's not that impressive. Now what, now what happened? So much happened. Navarra lost against Rosselio. Rosselio. Okay, interesting. Oh, we still need to take over Mallorca so that we can so we can do the secure the Mediterranean decision. I forgot about that. Yeah, I, I gotta focus more on that after the tournament's over. For sure. Alright, here we go. Here we go. The grand tournament opening, the tournament is at hand at last. Many have flocked to my grounds in Alexandria, eager to prove their worth or simply enjoy the spectacle. The sun rises higher in the sky and the shadows shorten. If I'm defeating the board game contest, I'm wishing sure I will qualify. I will. I will. Don't you worry. Tourney grounds. And then we need to go to the temple because Meritides is zealous. She can't skip out on that. Squires laugh and joke while they polish helms and mail. One of them snorts so hard it sounds like a pig and the rest soon imitate him. Their champions loiter nearby. Among these I spot Adrian, Nomark Philotheos' counselor. Her deeds have not gone unnoticed, and the work she's done for her legion's household is more than impressive. I can convince her to join my own council. No, I won't. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. Alright, we go to the temple in 20 days here. Faction disbanded. That's cool. Not the one that matters, but that's cool. Alright, temple. Bring me glory, Amun Ra. Ra. 
We got time for a few visits, actually. Let's see what's going on at the Artisan Quarters. Recall that previous victory for the score increase is crazy, OP. Browsing the wares on display in the tailor's shop, I spy carefully... Oh, dang it. It's this again. Yep, that's fine. We're gonna do that one. Little Renown didn't hurt nobody. And I do want to get one more Renown perk before we wrap this up. There we go. Got him. Seek indulgence. Three more days. Okay. Now where are we going? We got 13 days till it starts. I guess we can do one more trip to the turning grounds. Tent camp. Let's go to tent camp. She who spurns the fight. My champion Ox, recent absences have not gone unnoticed. Oh, she trying to do this thing, huh? Ah, uh, she acknowledges me with a scant obeisance, turning her shining sword over and over in her hands. All the world knows I am a great and worthy champion, growls she, and so without highborn attendance and grand gifts from my liege, I must refuse to compete. My attending the contest in poverty would dishonor us both. You what? So you won't serve us unless you're you have a highborn attendant and grand gifts from me. Compete, I'll give you anything. And look after my best champions, I swear it. Yeah, your oath is forfeit, windbag. Be gone. We'll do better. Cast this unseemly champion from service. You humiliated her with a shameful forfeiture of her oath of martial service. Yo, you idiot. And you're about to get murdered, too. What were, What was she thinking? Because now she's a rival with us, too, and Meritides doesn't let rivals live. What a crazy thing to do. What a crazy thing to do. Just seek a new one. Wow. That's crazy. How dare she? That was insane. Insane. Alright. The contestants take their places at the gaming tables, fluffing their cushions and requesting refreshments. The games themselves are arrayed out on trestle tables. The very pitches and volumes of the crowd's cheers leave no question to the favorites. For my first bout, I've been paired up against my vassal, Nomarch Theocarista of Sirte. So we have Amos of Palestine. My vassal. Very nice. 57 learning. He's going to be good. Arsino of Cyprus, 22, not going to be so good. Zakaria, oops, Zakaria, 31, learning, not bad. Arsino of Mon, Terramin and 33, pretty good. Theocriste, uh, that's my opponent, 29, learning, not bad. Demetrios, 21, and a Terramin, not going to be good enough, I don't think. And the Wolf with 22, a Terramin, who's not going to be good enough, I don't think. Really, Amos is my main competitor here, at least he's Terramin like us. And this is where we're going to pick up next time. Next time, the tournament. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. If you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Either way, thank you so much for joining Meritides and I on this journey in Crusader Kings 3 Tours and Tournaments. It has been such a blast to go through this playthrough with everybody. I genuinely think the first 30, 40, first 50 episodes of this playthrough were the most fun I ever had playing Crusader Kings 3. This playthrough meant so much to me. Menkare was that absolute god. He was that guy. And Meow, Mauricio, Loremaster, Lisa, and many others. Obinao. People that left comments on almost every video that joined me all the way through. You are so you. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. It is so cool that you guys enjoyed the journey as much as I did. It's not over yet, but I think it will be soon. Next time the tournament, thank you again, and I'll see all of you next time.